So for over two decades, the only way you could get a model cut of the Gundam Geminis, one of those kits from the, uh, the Gundam Wing manga, was either the 144, no grade, or the SD. And it's really weird. I remember seeing all those kits in that line, um, the 144s, in an electronic boutique, which is basically, it was a GameStop uh, in Canada back in the day. And they were all there. I, it was really weird, because that's when Wing was like a big thing in 2000. And I didn't know what they were. I'm like, those aren't in the anime. And I had, I had no idea what they were. But they look cool. And I didn't get any at the time. Uh, but I got them all now. But anyways, finally, in around 2018, 19, we got this guy. The Gundam Geminis High Grade from Dragon Momoko. Not Bandai. There is a one from Bandai now. There's actually several from Bandai now. Um, P Bandai, of course, you know, you gotta spend the money. $20 American for this guy. And still, you can get this guy in some online shops for $20. I think it was 19 actually, American. You can get it right now if you wanna. And it's actually pretty decent. Like, it looks good. Um, and it does have some stickers, but mostly the gold you see um, for like the um, space parts. But everything else is pretty much plastic. Let's get that off there so you can see the backpack. Okay, that little black piece, piece of their stickers, but, you know, a little teeny detailing, those are, like, stickers. And the, the head looks really good, too. Let's take a look at that nug and like, and that, that looks really nice. Once again, the gold are stickers. And it's funny. They, they made this, and they give you joints. All the joints are age kits. Got them age kits. Um, all the uh, the hinges, the hips, the knees, they're all exactly the same as the age. And I love the joints in the age line. I wish they had carried them on with other series because they're great. I love them. Like they, they're nice, solid, never had problem with those joints. So using them here, good idea. And it's about, I'd say, a, a height appropriate. I couldn't find any wing kids uh, in high grade. I don't know what the heck I did with them, but... Um, like, as you can see here, you know, it's a decent height. Not sure if it's that exactly right, but they're good and they're solid. Um, they nothing, I don't think I modified a thing on this kit to put it together. And because it has all the joints of an age kit, you get all the posability, basically, of an age kit. And uh, the, the way they put the other, like the other armor parts together works really well. It's got some stomach articulation going on. Uh, the back skirt's weird. It's a peg. It's like a peg ball joint system going on. So it's kind of weird. But it does rest in its own place. And legs. Legs are great too. Of course, like I said, the, le the back skirt does its thing so you can get the legs farther out. But uh, And I, this is well, This is plastic. You'd think it would be a sticker, but this little gray here just sticks out here and hides behind the knee. Even this part here is a piece of plastic, so... Dragon Momoko did a good job. Like, oops. Uh, they don't have a, a lot, like, you don't get a lot of 144, like, third-party kits, because I can't really call it a knockoff, like, if they're knocking off the joints, but this whole body is definitely unique. And you, you do get all the parts to make it into, like, the earth type, so you have the different shoulder armor and different uh, thigh armor, which I didn't keep on it, because, I mean, space armor is really cool, why would I do that? And these can hinge out like they're supposed to. And you got the uh, joints on the little winglets. The white pieces, pieces here are stickers, but I mean, I kind of expected that. They're kind of, it's really thin. It's a thin piece. Yeah, I'm not sure if the uh, Pete Bandai kits have stickers on the back here. I'm going to assume so, because strangely enough, Pete Bandai, a lot of stickers on those kits. It's, it's kind of sad. The more you pay a premium and you have to sticker everything up. And weaponry wise, you've got the shield. I mean, it's appropriate. It's just gray. Nothing special. And you got the beam rifle, which is unique. A little chunky. I like it. It's got a groove on the one side because you can actually store it in the shield. But it can be done if you want. And you'll have to take the hands apart to put these in because they have these little lips on both the rifle and the... Uh, weird! Usually the, the little lip on the rifle is facing the other way, but this way it's facing back. I don't know, just something I want to point out. 
Okay, I was actually wrong. I was able to slide the handle of the shield just enough. It separated the handguard a bit. Once again, because they have the extra lip to try and help the, sh uh, the beam rifles stay in here, it makes it a little difficult. So yeah, you can kind of wedge in there. Just push the hand cover back in. It's fine. And beam sabers on the back. A little tricky to get out. Um, it's similar to like the Mark II. We have a big tab here that kind of goes in and it uses the same kind of beams, I believe, from the age kits because it's a flat one. It's been a while. I've got these when they first uh, came out. And I say these because I also have the Geminis Zero Two. And this thing is just a straight recolor of the other one. And it didn't come when I bought it. It didn't come with the uh, any of the space, uh, space parts. So you still have the shoulder armor here and the uh, calf armor. So you can see what that was. It's that's exactly what it would look like on the Unit 1 if I was able to find them. But yeah, it's exactly the same. But I really like the colors. Very tightness. If it had a little, it had actual red. It's weird. It doesn't have any red. I just realized that. Not even the chin or the forehead camera. It's all blues. A little bit of yellow. But it looks good. I, I think I prefer this, if I'm going to be honest. Before it was the Gemini Zero One, but lately, I'm going with the uh, Zero Two colors. Now, the one thing it has that makes it unique from the Zero One is its beam rifle. Now, you actually have three different configurations, from what I remember. You got more of an RX-78 two beam rifle. You have a kind of stubbier beam rifle with, like, I think it's a grenade launcher underneath. And then this one, which I like the most, is more of a long range one. And looks like it has like a sensor here. It just it's unique. You don't see a lot of these. Um, in uh, with mobiles, it's more like grunt suits get these. So it's nice to have a gun with something like this. And it's got these little ha extra handles that pig on here. So you can have them uh, holding it in both hands. They don't articulate at all. Unfortunately, they just kind of like unpeg sometimes. But yeah, it does look cool. And thankfully, they give you a hand that has a little bit of a bend in the wrist, which is just enough so it goes right against the arm. So you don't have to worry about it like being a problem. And of course, it has the beam sabers. So yeah, that's all it has is the gun and the beam uh, sabers, which it feels a little underwhelming compared to the uh, Zero One. However, through my travels on the internet, I found a couple of sites that are, like I said, still selling these. But the Zero Two comes with the space armor now. I feel a little chipped, uh, but I think it's the exact same color as it is here. It's just all gray, but it would look good because I mean it already has gray on it, and I think the darker colors would work good with the uh, gray. So I'll be honest with you, I kind of want to buy it just to have a space version too, but I'm not going to. I'm going to control myself because these are great. Like I said, Bandai's made ones. Actually, they're milking it quite a bit because there's different. I don't know if you have if there's complete sets with the models, but I know there's like different packs you can get because there's a unit one, there's unit two. I know there's the space type for unit one. There's different versions for unit two and one that I didn't know about. I I don't know if they actually were a thing back in the day or they just made them to milk the kits. But I'm happy with these personally. Maybe someday I'll if I see the other ones for cheap because. Cheap as I've seen these ones in Bandai's uh, Neck of the Woods, about, I think, $69. And that's American. Once again, 19 American. So, if you, they, as of right now, you can find them. So I'd say, give them a go.